So get ready for Outriders everybody, we're getting closer and closer to the release with just a couple more days until then, but in the meantime, the preloads are finally happening, or at the very least they started on Steam, among other platforms that were rolling out in the past few days. We also have to talk about the upgraded system requirements that have been posted recently and a ton of other stuff to discuss here in this video, so without further ado, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and let's jump right into it. Anyway, for all of those who are planning to play the game on Steam, go ahead and check out your downloading right now because chances are preloading has already started for you and yes, it is absolutely available. If you're playing the game on Steam, it's going to be about a 42.4 gigabyte download that might take a little while depending on your internet connection. Meanwhile, on the console, I've heard that the game can go all the way up to 66 gigabytes, which is pretty significant. So um, yeah, maybe go ahead, try to download the game as soon as possible to get ready on launch day for when the servers open up. But there's actually more and according to the same announcement, here are the final confirmed system requirements for playing Outriders on the minimum recommended and ultra settings. So these have been updated from what they were previously and now it seems to also include that ultra settings 4K 60fps which is a pretty steep requirement as you would expect. So pretty much the latest this gen either Intel or Ryzen 16 gigs of RAM and of course at least a 3080 or a 6800 XT and about 70 gigs of storage now if you have any problem with that maybe you're not gonna play at let's say 4k maybe you're playing just like 1080p of course the system requirements are way lower but there is something to help you a bit with that extra on top on top of the fact that the game is going to be on direct x12 instead of 11 how it is in the demo you're gonna be able to play it on DirectX 12 on launch but there's also a games ready driver for Outriders available as we speak so this was released a few hours ago if you didn't already download this and install it go ahead and do so because it is going to bring noticeable performance improvements in games like Outriders as well as support for Nvidia DLSS and of course that's going to be an additional performance boost on top. Now for all of those who did miss the previous video I made on the release times we also have a pretty good map right here from the Outriders team pretty much showcasing everything you need to know about the release dates for the consoles and the PC. Now for consoles it's pretty easy because all of these versions will unlock at your local midnight time on April 1st. So when you hit that April 1st at midnight whenever that might be in like 24 hours or more than that you're gonna be able to play the game outright on your consoles. Meanwhile, for the PC crowd, it's going to be according to this map below, like for example, in my case, it's going to be 1900 hours CST on April 1st, um, because I'm basically one hour behind Berlin, so that would be an extra hour on top of that um, 1800 hours CST, basically. So what you have to do is just convert this to your local time zone. Now, let's move over to some really interesting questions that we had the past few hours including one that, um, well, is as follows. Do we need to keep the demo installed for a transfer of our saves from the demo to the main game or is it handled in the back end or what just to play it safe and of course you do not need to keep the demo installed your profile is saved on our back end so if you were wondering if you need to keep that demo installation no you don't need to do so because you need to completely redownload the game anyway and it's going to be done all through their system another one was in regards to the dismantling button um, a lot of people seem to have a gripe with this like why doesn't people can fly change the dismantle button with a different one and well there's a partial answer to that as we've talked previously but the full game will have a mass mark based on rarity option which is hopefully going to make dismantling of lots and lots of items easier than it is right now in the demo but yeah totally let me know down below on which platform are you playing outriders on because right now from what i'm seeing it seems that pc is getting shafted a little bit and the consoles are faring a little bit better simply because you can also get the game earlier but there's also like earlier copies that have already been sent on the playstation 5 at the very least and that has been the case for at least a few days at this point like for example pure poetic 
takeover on reddit posted this image right here a few hours ago with a ps5 version of outriders day one edition and of course i cannot be more jealous now from going around and asking a little bit it seems that many of these copies even though they were received earlier it still didn't grant access to the full game and when people tried logging in it would say that those servers are not yet active so at the very least we get to all suffer together until April 1st drops. Now, does this mean you should go ahead and pre-order the game in hopes of getting it earlier and being able to play it earlier on your console, for example? Well, definitely no, especially now. It's a little bit too late at this point. Maybe last week, yes, but at this point, it's way, way too late for that. On top of that, as already mentioned in one of my previous reviews of the demo, if you have any concerns about a game, if there's anything Thing particularly about it that you don't really like maybe just wait for the reviews first and then buy it just in case because not everybody has money to spend on every single release that um, gets out in a year so yeah i'm definitely going to be dropping a review of the game as well or you can just wait for the big outlets to release theirs but if you do happen to do that if you do happen to pre-order the game you still have time for some really awesome hell's ranger content pack that you're gonna get with every pre-order of the game now personally i have not covered these on the channel but what you get is a hell ranger male and female gear set with this pack which looks something like this by the way i really like the aesthetic i think that is going to make you look pretty good in the early stages and i especially love that spiked jacket i only hope that is going to be available in another form a bit later on into the game on top of that you also get access to a whooping 11 unique guns that you can use on your character so this is going to be the hell's ranger weapon pack which is going to contain a ton of really interesting weapon choices right here and finally there's going to be a hell's ranger truck mod and decal that's going to look something like this it's gonna definitely make traversal a lot more interesting with the cerberus pack right there like three um dog heads for your truck which is going to look pretty insane and also the weapons look pretty insane i'm not really sure if we've seen these skins available on any other types of weapons in the game i think that it's only available for this particular pack but with that being said and done this is it for today of course a lot more incoming really soon and you know that we're gonna be playing the game a little bit earlier tomorrow so i might either drop a stream when that's gonna be possible or maybe drop a video when that's gonna be possible because we already have some stuff ready in the pipeline this is it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one so peace out